it kind of gives off that very ashy look under your eyes. Hi guys, this is Caroline, always reminding you that you are created beautifully. In today's video, I am doing something super excited. And if you're curious at all on what I'm talking about, I am talking about color correcting. Before you go on any further, before you watch this video, please comment down below. Which side do you think I color corrected? Is it my left hand side here? Or is it my right? To find out, please continue watching. And if you're new to this channel, please go ahead and consider clicking on that subscription button down below. It's that red one right there. It costs you nothing at all and it does mean so much to me. Also, turn on your notification button so that you know every single time I upload a new video. Typically, I'm uploading every Tuesday a makeup or beauty related videos. Every Thursday, you can expect vlogs. And on Sunday, there are bonus videos. I will say this, I am going to be a little bit more sporadic for the next four weeks. You can expect two or three videos, but it's the summer crunch time and I am living my best life. All right, let's get into this video. Hey guys, so today in this video, I am doing something that I am super curious about from my last video. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to go ahead and link it above here. I did go back to color correcting because that's what I was doing this summer when I'm using powder products. When I started out with makeup, Color correcting was an absolute must. When I used to put on my concealer right above my dark circles, my dark circles would automatically peek out and it would look like it was bruising. You can tell when people are putting concealer on top of like blue or black, it looks very ash. So when I started off that video, it really made me curious because ever since I started using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, I must admit I kind of dropped off with the whole color correcting thing. But I am curious. What I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna do half of my face with my old and on the other side of my face, I'm just gonna use my NARS and my Shape Tape Concealer. And I'm gonna see if you can actually tell where I color correct it. Let's put this stuff to the test. So I'm, I'm just gonna start out with priming my face. As you can see, I do have my brows and all my eyeshadow done because this video is strictly about comparing color correcting versus your plain old concealer. So I'm gonna start out with the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I think I'm gonna do two pumps. All right, so what I'm gonna first gonna start off doing is color correcting. I do use the Eve Pearl Salmon Concealer and I use the color Dark. Now I've said this in my last video that you always wanna go with a color corrector that is darker than your skin tone. In the medium skin tone, you wanna to lean more toward the salmon colors or the reds. That's gonna help cancel out all the black and the blue. Adding too many layers under your eyes will give you that very heavy appearance of creasing and it just starts looking very cakey. So I'm just gonna use my ring finger for the warmth of it and I'm just going to tap that right underneath my eye. Now, just from off camera, I can see a visible difference. I think you can see that where this is just a lot more canceled out versus this side where you can see a lot of the darkness here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and color correct starting from around my mouth area. You can see like I have this darkness that kind of peeps out. And actually sometimes when I'm doing my concealer, I can actually see it on my face. Also, you can see there's a little bit of discoloration right here. Again, I'm just gonna use my finger for the warmth and I'm just gonna tap that into those dark areas. So as you can see here, I did color correct all the discoloration on my left side here. When I do color correct my face area, I do go ahead and go in with my Laura Mercier powder just to set that into place. Now I don't wanna do that underneath my eyes because the more layers you put underneath your eyes, the more chances you have in exaggerating those creases. I'm gonna just put a very light layer of that powder even from just color correcting, I can see a major difference. I'm not sure you can, but I think my skin tone is a lot more even on this side. I'm gonna speed this part through. You can see me doing it. Go ahead and put on my foundation like I would any other time, and then I'm gonna go in with my concealer, and then we'll do our comparison. Okay. 
I'm gonna go ahead and come in a little bit closer. So I don't have any concealer on, but this is what it looks like with just the foundation. Of course, I did not add any foundation underneath my eyes. You can compare at least the areas that I did color correct here on my face. All right, before we go ahead and add in our second layer of foundation, I am gonna go ahead and do some concealing on my face area. So for my face area, I am gonna go ahead and use my NARS concealer for that. So remember, on this side, we have no color correcting. All right, so before I go ahead and blend that out, I'm gonna let it sit there for a little bit because I think that you get a better color payoff when you allow your concealers to sit before going ahead and blending it out. There is a lot, a lot of coverage, like especially in the mouth area, it's gonna even out once I go ahead and put in the second layer of foundation. I'm definitely liking the coverage. Now we're gonna go into that very tricky area, which is right underneath the eyes. I just wanna make sure to put that I'm adding the same amount so that it's nice and fair. So while that concealer is going to sit for a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and add in a little bit more foundation. I am gonna do a little bit of sculpting. I'm gonna go in with my Born This Way in Coco. I'm gonna use that to go ahead and sculpt out my face because like I said in my last video, your girl been eating. So I am going in with a Real Techniques brush. This is the 305, I believe. And I use this just to start blending out my concealer. Now to prevent some of the creasing, I do wanna go immediately into my Laura Mercier powder to set that. Just wanna make sure to get into all those creases. Now we're gonna go ahead and blend out that concealer. Let me go ahead and wipe off the powder. I haven't did any bronzing, but this is what it looks like. Again, remember, I did color correct on this side here, and then this is just the straight concealer. Can you tell a difference? Is there a major difference? Should I go back to color correcting? For some reason, I feel like it's a more natural highlight versus just like this very big bright highlight. Like I could still see the salmon concealer and it looks very nice and natural to me. Actually, even on camera, that's what it appears to look like to me. Let's go ahead and finish up the rest of this look and then we will get your final opinions and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right guys, this is the finished look. I'm gonna go ahead and bring you as close as possible because I really want your advice. Please comment down below and let me know what you think. Do you really think that color correcting made a big difference here? Or the side where I just went straight in with my concealer really just won it over? Of course you gotta factor in saving time, but let's go ahead and get up close. So this is my side here where I color corrected. And this is the side here where we just went in straight with concealer. I don't know. When I'm looking at the camera and when I look at the mirror, it looks just a tad bit more natural on my left side, which is the side that I color corrected. So really guys, I am really depending on you. This video was a lot of fun to put on. I definitely can see that I can get away without color correcting, but it gives you a little bit more of a very beautiful shine, glam look. It just looks a little bit more natural, a little bit more mm, I feel like when I color correct. So I think I'm gonna go back to color correcting when I'm going out. Like I have a wedding coming up soon and I think I'm just really gonna go back in to color correcting because I just think it does something, I don't know, it just, it's, 
there is a difference. I can see a difference. I don't know if you can. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are new here again, that subscribe button down below. Uh, I think we are like 10 more until we hit the 3K guys. I'm very excited. I'm just so thankful for each and every one of you guys. As always guys, God bless you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Come on back again for our bonus video this Sunday.